Is there a dark reason that psychology studies are so often right? Nearly 100% of public studies confirm the initial hypothesis. This is by Ross Pomery, Real Clear Science on WND. Psychological scientists have quite an impeccable track record. Nearly 100% of the published studies in psychology confirm the initial hypothesis. This is what Gerald J. Heffel, associate professor in psychology at Notre Dame University, says, bragged in a paper published Wednesday in the journal Royal Society Open Science. He said, this is an amazing accomplishment given the complexity of the human mind and human behavior. Somehow, as psychological scientists, we always find the expected result. We always win, he says. Despite his ebullient tone, Heifel is by no means high on his disciplined success. On the contrary, he suspects that uh, it may be a result of cheating. Mischievous tricks such as hacking statistics to garner a glowing result, hypothesizing after results are known, and choosing to publish only positive findings combined to give the impression that most psychological theories are on solid empirical ground. Large replication projects suggest they are not. When other scientists repeat prior psychological experiments, they have found that only about half give the results online with original works. This has cast doubt on many prominent theories once seen as rock solid, including ego depletion, priming, and growth mindset. The question now is whether psychologists will revise these theories to explain the contradictory results, or will they move on to more popular areas of psychology in which positive results are less scrutinized and easier to find, Haffel wrote. Seeing as how pop psychology, quote-unquote, is often more lucrative than rigorous psychology, the latter seems to be the likelier outcome. But if psychological scientists are interested in reinvigorating their field standing, Haffel has had an idea for... Uh, has an idea for doing this. The best option for fixing psychology's winning problem is a registered report format in which articles are accepted or rejected prior to knowing the results of the study, he wrote. That would ensure that method methodologically sound studies are published regardless of their outcome. Havel hypothesizes that psychology's impossibly high rate of positive results can be primarily attributed to journals penchant for publishing flashy findings that advance theories. Thus, if researchers want to publish, they must therefore deliver confirmatory results, but what if they could get published regardless of what their experiments turned up? Psychologists are willing to be wrong as long as they can still get the publication, Haffel writes. Thus, registered reports may be a powerful tool for fixing psychology. Theories can lose while researchers continue to win. This outcome would be good for psychology and society as a whole. Stagnating theories kept alive by questionable results will die, and new theories that more accurately explain human nature can emerge to take their place. The field must stop the idea of prog progress by confirming the approach, confirmation approach, whereby if a study works, then we get to publish it, and if it doesn't work, then we will hide it, Haffel wrote. If psychology is to ever develop into a cumulative science, then it must get over the idea that being wrong is bad or a crisis, quote-unquote, and uh, recommit to the scientific method. So up to now, that's been what's been going on, which was, of course, very fraudulent and dangerous for uh, psychology. This is on WND. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.